On today's episode, we take a look at the summer movies that we are pumped about. What is up, guys? Welcome to What We Watch. I am Matt. Thank you so much for joining us. Before we get started, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. It truly helps us out when you guys do that. But what we're going to be talking about today is the summer. The weather is finally nice. It has finally stopped snowing. We completely said, forget you spring, we're just moving straight on to summer. And it seems like the movie industry has done the exact same thing. Now typically, the summer movie schedule is from Memorial Day to Labor Day. And they, that has kind of just been thrown out the window. What a lot of movie companies have kind of gotten smart to is the fact that there are a lot of really good opportunities outside of summer for people to be going and seeing films. And so we have some earlier releases. We saw that with Infinity War. We're seeing that with Solo coming up. And so I'm just going to break down uh, what movies I'm super excited about seeing this summer and why. Just a general note, these are in no in particular order. They're just a list of movies that I am going to be very excited to see and break down this summer. First up, we have The Incredibles 2. We've been waiting so long for this movie, and my only fear is that we might have been waiting too long. It better be really good, and Pixar, time after time again, even though they often come up with these ideas that, just written down on paper, don't seem that great, every single time I see a Pixar movie, excluding cars, let's not talk about that, but every other time besides that, they knock it out of the park. So I can't wait to get back with this family and see what new adventures they have in store this time around. Next up is Deadpool 2, the third wall breaking. Merc with the mouth is coming back, and one of the main reasons I'm excited about this movie is because uh, Josh Brolin played both Thanos and he's playing Cable, and I feel like that is just a softball being tossed up to Ryan Reynolds that he's just going to knock out of the park. There's so many great jokes that are available, especially now that Infinity War is done and we kind of know how that all turned out. One of the best things about Deadpool is since he's wearing a mask and everything is voiceover that he does, that Ryan Reynolds, up until basically the release date, can add whatever he would like um, to make this movie as current as possible. So I'm excited to see what Ryan Reynolds pulls out and see if Deadpool 2, 2 can live up to the hype that Deadpool 1 was. Next up, we have Jurassic World Falling Kingdom. Now this is kind of a make or break for me. Uh, when it comes to Jurassic Park movies. I love Jurassic Park movies. They are fantastic. But it's obvious that they want to make a lot of these movies, and why wouldn't they? Uh, Jurassic World is actually one of the highest grossing movies of all time. And so it just makes logical sense that they would continue to make these movies, but I'm hoping that they don't continue to make the movies just because they are money-making machines instead of making good quality films. Jurassic World was great, but I hope that we get enough of a difference, and even in my trailer breakdown, which I'll link in the description below, for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it seemed very Lost World-ish, and so I'm hoping that they just don't go back to that same well, hoping to just make a buck. Then we have Christopher Robin by Disney. This one I don't actually know a ton about, but it seems to be the idea that Christopher Robin is older and has to kind of reconnect with his childlike spirit through the character of Winnie the Pooh. That's basically all I know about it, but it's made by Disney. Disney is the champions of whimsical, and so I'm really excited to kind of see how they develop this character in a different way than maybe we've seen before. I'm kind of hoping it's like Hook was for Peter Pan and kind of that similar stretching of the character and seeing a different direction, but still involving the characters that we know and love. Next up, we have Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Now, this one I'm really excited about because Sicario is one of the best shot films I've ever seen. Hopefully one day I'm actually going to do a full breakdown of the scene where they're doing the border crossing. It is so well done. And the fact that uh, that character just has so much more that we can learn about, um, you know, where he's from and what makes him up. I'm really curious to see where they go. The action in the original was fantastic, and so I'm hoping that carries over to the sequel. Also, real quick, here are a few honorable mentions. <laughs> Finally, we have Mission. 
Mission Impossible Fallout. Mission Impossible is one of those things, like I said earlier with Pixar, where I'm eventually waiting for them to run out of steam, and they just don't. They kind of died down a little bit. I wasn't a huge fan of Mission Impossible 2, but then Mission Impossible 3 was good, and they just keep coming out with such great movies. The concepts are very kind of similar every time. You kind of know what you're getting walking into a Mission Impossible film, but I cannot wait for this movie. The trailer has me so psyched, and I think it will just be a fun thrill ride that will just be so much fun to watch. Well, those are the movies that I am excited about for this summer. Which ones did I miss? Which ones should I be excited about? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to these videos. We truly do appreciate when you guys do that. And thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. Uh, once again, let me know what movies you are looking forward to seeing this summer. And I will see you guys on Friday.